the journey of a thousand miles to say begins with a single step. But how many miles did these community leaders in Oreo Felua CDA travel to achieve self-development? Latin 1981, Latin Day, I mean, I in this special report, we take you on a journey of vision and action. Prior to the inception of Governor Akimi Ambade's administration, bad roads, dilapidated structures were common in sight in Oreo Felua community. A situation that forced landlords to abandon their homes. The condition of the roads scares away prospective medium and large scale investors while economic situation suffered. I came into the community about 10 years ago. Then, then our street was not motorable at all. It was as bad as anything. In fact, the pedestrians could not even trek because it was so bad, so terrible. This place is sloppy. So the water coming from other places normally come to this area. Many of my, my colleagues, let me see, abandoned their building. Like this building now. About five years ago, the man, when he see that the place happened to be better enough, he came and finished his own building. And the one we are staying in the front, if you look at the gate as well, you will see that it has been there for long. So it belongs to a woman. She also could not come in because the place was in a sorry state. When community leaders could not bear it any longer, they resolved to put their destinies in their hands to save the community. The journey to rebuild Oreo Felua CDA under Governor Akumi Ambade's administration began. Despite the fact that today is Monday, you can see them. There are still many, they are still going to join us. So, Oreo Felua is a CDA that is cooperating most. That is the genesis of this CDA. It is through that cooperation. And when you are talking about the cooperation, we are talking about cooperation to the financing to a core. People don't wait until others contributed. The only thing they do is so what is this project? It will cost 200,000. Oh yeah, one, two, three, four, please contribute the money. When they see the project going on, others will now support. That is it for Oreo Felua. We were formerly a CDA that was a very large, but it was carved out from progressive and we have five streets and uh, the boundaries are shared with about four other cities. But it was not going to be easy. The community leaders encountered many orders. First, they employed the services of the local vigilante group to complement effort of the Nigerian police in safeguarding lives and properties in the community. They established a security gate at the entrance to monitor visitors. I want to thank God for the people in this community. Every month we do have meeting. And when we have meeting, we look at our needs. Is it security? Is it road? Is it water flooding? And also, don't forget security. And that is a major problem that we are having because we are spending a lot of money on security. Because if the place is not safe, people will not want to come. The gate you saw over there is in the front of my treasurer. Now, we needed about 180,000 Naira to build the gate. The money contributed was just below 50,000. So my treasurer added to it, and the job started progressing. So any other person that sees that this thing wanted to do it for 180, have not contributed my money, and the job is already going on. So they started bringing out their own money. That's how we money, I mean, mobilizing our people. We have done a little relief for us, because we have a a lot of problem when we have rainy season like this. Every road is unpassable, which we did by ourselves. We rent down from a um, caterpillar to grade this area, all our area. The completion of the security gate over, the community took up the challenge of flood. To avert its effect, deep drains were constructed across the nooks and crannies of the CDA. If you have been here about two, three years ago, you cannot stand where you are standing. Because this water passing this area from almost six streets are passing here. But through the community effort, we make sure we channel the water back to the back there, which is um, um, 
Olopade Street. So that is the problem we were having here, drainage. The major project here, the drainage, crossing drainage from up down both sides was done by the effort of each individual landlord, followed by the cement poles, which cost each uh, landlord 25,000 25, per head, which is to make our electricity stand firm. Relying on the partnership that exists between CDAs, CDCs and Lagos state governments to attract development in the inner communities, a resident of Oriofeluwa community shared encomium on Governor Akumi Ambade inclusive policy, which is waking community development associations from sleep. He said that Oriofeluwa CDA has expended a lot on grading and rural electrification to make life better for all. Whatever you see here, be it road, be it uh, electricity, whatever, the gutters. I'm going to show you so many gutters that we did. In fact, last year, we, go, we, will, we will have been the third in the whole community development, uh, whatever we, uh, that thing that we normally do in uh, Lagos State. We happen to be almost the third. We are in fourth because they came here from Secretariat and they see what we are doing and they were, it was amazing. Everything is our community development. This is the best government so far when you are talking about community. When a government is relating with the community, it's the best governor. I can tell you, this man worked to the level, to the ground level. It, it works down, down to the community. And the hand is reaching, anything he's saying is talking within us. He's going down to the community. We are not neglected. If you could learn that La land in primary school, a government, Singwandele gave it to us, a local government. And we have been writing letters, we've done all the survey, all our letters. Once I received a message from the governor that I should hold on, they are coming. I personally, as Obawole president, received a, 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 a message from the governor that they are coming to meet us about that primary school. It means that uh, the government is functioning very well. It's a government of community. It's not comparable to the last one. I'm not boasting because I've not seen him. I don't know him. I'm, from, I'm not from where uh, I don't know him, but the, we are getting him right now. We are meeting him and everything is direct to the community, CDC. You know, Ambode is the one that let us know right hand to the left hand. All our entitlement, all our belongings. It's just as if they remove cloth from our face. So there we started benefiting something good. God will bless him. With the little they have done, Members of Oriol Folua community wants philanthropists and non-governmental organizations to partner with them on their proposed primary school.